Hey there, this is the Department of Subtle and uh, Quirky and Quick. Pipes. You draw pipes in plans, you draw pipes in sections, you draw pipes in 3D views. Inevitably, you draw some pipes, you draw some more pipes, like this one here, and I draw this one here. Most of these would probably be drawn in one view, but it's not all that uncommon to draw something like this segment and then switch to another view and connect another one later over to this spot. So something strange happens every once in a while grab a pipe like this. I look at the temporary dimension that shows up over here. It says 9 feet here. And then you look at this other end. It says 19 feet. Yikes. What's going on there? Why is the offset so strange? So you, you think maybe we'll all look at the properties. Well, it's based on level 1, but it's got an offset of 19. Wow, that's kind of strange. And I go grab this pipe. I look at this. It says 22, and this one says 12. You know, what's up with that? You know, that's kind of weird, too. I look at this one. 12 and 22. Gosh. Um... So the secret here, or the, the culprit in this case, is uh, paying closer attention to these uh, fittings. <clears throat> when I look at the properties of a fitting, I see this one's based on level one. Wander over here to the other end, and this fitting is, ah, level two. So we have an offset based on one level and an offset based on a different level. The numbers still work out, and when you change the elevation of something, these guys try to maintain their level association, but offset uh, change the offset from the level to accommodate the you know, achieve an equal elevation without changing its elevation. <clears throat> so when you get some strange pipe values at either end, just think, oh, fittings, and sort out whether the fittings have the right level association that you really want. Okay, hope it helps.